Hello everybody. Our first crystal this evening is the citrine and with that goes the card for the zebra. When we look at this card and we look at the zebra we see an animal that roams the plains in great numbers in a large herd, a community, very much in a similar way to the way we live. And they all support each other. The strongest support the weak and the younger ones support the older ones. And that is how life is for us. And it's important that we take care of each other. When we look at the zebra, and we see his stripes. Do we see black stripes on white? Or do we see white stripes on black? Well, it is for you to decide for yourself. But what it says is, nothing is ever clear cut. Nothing is ever simply black or white. It is a combination of both. And it's important to see life that way, to see that no one way is right, no one person is wrong. We need to put into perspective everybody's point of view and listen to others and respect their opinions. The other thing we know about a zebra stripes is that no two zebras are identical. They're all individual, just like our own fingerprints. So this says, when we look at ourselves, we are all individuals, we are all different. We all have something to give and to contribute, however wealthy or however, however poor we may be. We are a herd, just like the zebra. And he, even every one of us has a part to play in the community we live in. Whether we be the top of the tree and the one who decides what others do, or whether we have a far more humble task further down the tree, we need to remember that without any one of us, things in the community would not run so smoothly. So an important message in that card tonight. Thank you. Our second crystal this evening is the Rose Quartz. And with that goes the card for the Siberian Husky. When we look at this card, we see a very beautiful dog. We look at his wonderful blue eyes, which are not that common among animals. And we see a very strong and powerful animal, a very determined personality. He lives often in a very harsh and unrewarding climate. But he has a very important part to play. He pulls the sledges across the snow. He brings supplies. He transports people. So he is vitally important to the people he lives among. Because he lives in a harsh environment, he has a very warm, thick, furry coat, many inches thick. And if you've chosen this card, I think it says about you that you should look at yourself and you should think to yourself that you too have something unique, something which others around you don't have. And that you can use this to the, to the advantage of yourself and others in order to protect them. When we look at the dog on this picture, 
we see that he has his lead between his teeth. And this says to you, this is symbolic, that you have chosen this card, then you are a person who controls your own life. And this dog is saying to you, take your lead between your teeth. Decide what is right for you and where you are going and what path you are going to follow. Be in control of your life and make sure that you get what you want from it and that you get the rewards you so justly deserve. So a lovely card there for someone I'm sure and I hope you like that. Our third crystal is the amethyst and if you've chosen that then the card that goes with it is the hermit and the fire, firefly. The hermit card is probably one of the most misunderstood cards. It suggests solitude, it suggests loneliness and a time to reflect. And often that is what we need in life. Often that is good that we take time on our own to think through the things that are going through our lives, to consider our thoughts and our deeds and decide what is best for the future and what we need and what others around us need. But the Hermit is not just about solitude. We see on this card the Hermit's lamp. And he carries that before him on his journey because he is the one who has travelled this path before you. He is the one who is aware of the pitfalls along the way. And so he asks that you follow his lamp and you follow his path and he will lead you along a path of safety and towards good fortune. We also see on this card the fireflies and the firefly, fly, fireflies gather in many hundreds often thousands at night and they glitter in the evening sky just like the stars in the sky do and they offer light and encouragement to those who see them. It's important to remember that the firefly is very small and in many ways quite insignificant but because they gather in great numbers once again it is saying we have the importance of the community if you all gather together and shine your light together you can make a much better path for others to follow than if you try to do it alone. So it is about cooperation. And again tonight we see on this card the butterfly. A symbol as we've learnt over the recent weeks of transformation. And on this card it's telling you to follow the hermit's lamp. To think like the fireflies and help each other. And to look towards the future and show the beauty that you have and not look back on the past and the dark times that came before. I hope that's a very good card for somebody. Three good cards there tonight and I feel once again we have the butterfly and that seems to become a regular feature of our cards in recent weeks and appears quite a lot. And I think it comes with a message, not just to me, but to all of you, that there are better times coming, that the past has gone, and we will move on to a better time. And like the butterfly, as I've said, show the world the beauty we have, and that we should not look back on the dark times, but look forward and rejoice in the good times that are to come. 
Thank you very much for listening to me tonight. Thank you.